Hello, Ectosage here on the Sage channel, a sleep art game and eat. And today we're taking a look at a few small, or maybe large, fighters that I made today. Now I'm going to actually start out with these ones over here next to my main base beacon. Indeed, you can now rename beacons. Simply go up to a control panel connected to whatever thing it is. This is a station. Go in there and you can simply rename it. That was actually added shortly after the mining patch. Very cool. There isn't really much of a limit on how long the name is, so it can be massive. Anyway, onto these ships. On the front here, we have our nice little cannons. I probably would have put these farther back into the ship, but of course they might stick out into here. I'll get to that one in a second. As for the guns down here, I'm actually pretty happy with them. I might have wanted to move them up, but in the but I don't know. I just wanted this little black slanted area here. Ideally, I would have black slanted area, guns, slanted area, guns, slanted area, red base, but of course then the ship would all be all the way down there and it would ruin the whole it would make it quite big actually. As for engines on the ship, the ha we have these two engines for going forward, and if I remove them, you can see our one and only generator, those two engines to stop us, a little communication devices there and there, and if we were actually to remove the cockpit, we can see under it we had our gyros set up, our engines to go up and down there, our engines to move left and right there. As for the reason this has this little slit and everything here is, one, for defense, that way if you're shooting at an enemy and they're shooting back directly at you, you should be instantly hit by their projectiles, and two, because when you were in that cockpit seat up now deleted, you can actually use that to aim, even though currently are, when you're in the seats, there is no aiming reticle, even if you have the weapon selected, and that'll probably change in the future. Now, as for this ship, it's actually exactly the same as that ship, except for this big opening here, I've just filled in with metal. So if we fly over here, you can still get into it through that same window, like so, and you can see how we would be basically aiming through that. Of course, during most maneuvers, you probably want to go in the third person and pilot around like this. Now, originally, I had hoped that because the ship is so small, it would accelerate very quickly. And it is accelerating at a decent speed, but it's not quite what I wanted. So I think this ship would probably work best as maybe a more stationary defense thing, where it would fly about a station and try to keep it safe and sound from any enemy attacks. You know, trying to find a target. Oh, there's one. Go in the first person and then use this to aim better at whatever's flying by. You lose them, of course, you'd have to instantly switch back to third person. And then again, this is all going that maybe they won't be adding target reticles in third and first person, which I do actually assume they will be adding and that'll be obsolete. But A, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Just as we'll cross the bridge when we come, if it comes to it, if these engines that you can see shooting through the sides actually do melt away at things. Ideally, I would have liked to have hidden those engines away a bit better, that way they don't stick through the sides, but for now, it's just going to have to do. Now, onto these slightly bigger ships. If I hop out of here and fly it about like this, these ships are actually all the same, except for this one is in a slightly earlier state, and I'm doing that, that way I can show you the engine workings of this ship. If we jump down into here, and look this way, you can see we have four engines over here to go forward, and another four over there. And remember, it's mirrored on both sides, and I seem to be stuck down there. We have our engines here. On the finished model, we have another set of three right there. We got our sideways engines here, and of course here. Our reverse engines right there, there's actually two back. And then our up and down engines over there, which actually they're powerful enough, sometimes you'll actually see them shooting all the way through the other engines out the other side. So if they do melt each other in a future update, they're going to melt a whole lot more than just each other. Anyway, that's it for this little thing. Now we can go to the finished model. We can show you some of the differences that we have in here, which are pretty big right away. Instantly, you cannot see all those engines. They're hidden away behind a wall. Of course, I'm using gravity to fall down here just because we're near a station. Unfortunately, in the game currently, there is no way to put gravity generators on these little ships, unless they changed it in the last update and they didn't say in a patch. Nope, I don't believe they did. Nope, indeed, small ships cannot have gravity generators, which is unfortunate. Hopefully in the future they will add that, that way we'll be able to have small rooms like this with its own gravity generator setup. Also, I do not believe you can have lights in here, unfortunately. The only lights that work on small ships are the reflector lights, and of course you don't want to use those because they might lag you, and they're a bit overkill for the interior of a ship. Now, in here we have our cockpit. We have this little divot, which originally had an opening going all the way to the outside of the ship, 
but of course we sealed that off because it was such a small hole, you couldn't really aim through it anyway. We have some medium storage containers, which only work on small ships over here for storing whatever maybe the people in here would need, or maybe spare ammo if you need to reload these guns here. Now, originally I wanted to be able to access the side panels on these, but I couldn't really easily set that up, so they ended up just being as such, but over here you can see they do indeed have side panels on those Gatling guns to access them. These missile launchers here, on the other hand, do not have any access as far as I could tell, but I left them open anyway just in case you actually do need to get to them. Now, if we fly in the front, you can see how those weapons are actually set up in the front. You can see on the left and right side of the far corners, we do have Gatling guns. At the center and the top and bottom, we have Gatling guns, and we have those missile launchers inset a bit. Now, the idea here is that you'd be aiming at a target in the middle with the Gatling guns, but if they strafed left or right, of course, you'd be also be firing these side Gatling guns and hopefully you'll get them. Basically, a hailstorm of fire, and of course, missile launchers are pretty self-explanatory missile launchers. We don't know currently if they will lock on, but if they do, hopefully we'll be able to lock on and take people out quite easily. Now, the ship does not accelerate as quickly as I like. You can see the small engines on the back there that are mainly for looks, that way it still looks like the ship has engines, while the main big engines inside are actually what's main, really propelling us about. Now, the ship cannot turn that quickly, or at least cannot stop its speed after turning that quickly, nor can it accelerate as quickly as I would like again, but this ship is relatively maneuverable and pretty damn sturdy. In fact, the fact that it's sturdy is its main appeal, its main point, because if I hit anything, you'll see here very quickly that the amount of damage done to these big ships is minimal, especially if you're the one actually colliding. Now this actually did a bit more damage than I was expecting, but I'm gonna show you here if I, whoa, gonna need to turn on my jetpacks and fly out of this thing. If I, sh if I copy one of these undamaged ships, that one over there, and I'm going to jump into another level and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so here we've loaded up the Gladius, we've copied in our other ship, and if we fly into this, I'll really show you what I mean by this ship is sturdy. Because even though against other small ships it seems to crumble relatively easily, against large, shi large ships, in the current build of the game, it's actually able to do quite a bit of damage. And I think it's because the damage system is somehow based on the amount of blocks touching each other, which means when I crash into this, only one block is really hitting like seven of these smaller blocks. Whereas five or six or more small blocks are hitting the big ones and they're counting the same as the amount of damage. So you can see with these small ships currently, you can just tear through big ships without any real damage. It is quite impressive and of course, probably not intended and we'll probably see this change in the future. Of course, also in the future, you will see that new armor blocks will be added because of course right now we're building with just light armor blocks they will be adding heavy armor and who knows what else in the future but currently this is massively exploitable to do huge amounts of damage to large ships which as you can see pretty much no damage at all to small ships so really if you knew what you're doing you could take an aim at a system speed up and just charge through stuff with ease anyway that's about it just want to show off these little ships some of these interesting damage things Thanks a bunch for watching, and I'll uh, talk to you guys next time.